Hello, everyone. My name is Patty Cakes Gaming. Thank you for uh, joining again. If you guys could, please like and subscribe as we journey through Hogwarts and Hogsmeade yet again. Anyways, last episode, we decided to, uh, well, not decided, we were faced with the opportunity to, well, not opportunity, but you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. We uh, had to take down a ogre. And yeah, that was fun because we learned our secret uh, hidden power, our special move, I guess you might say. It was phenomenal. And so this time, we have to talk to Professor Fig. Yeah, Professor Fig. So let's go do that. I hope you guys are having a great day. Actually, I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. I was going to tell you guys as well that I will start playing uh, the game you Grounded. Coming up with clever passwords day in, day out. Not as easy as it looks. Revelio. Oh, I forgot about this. Sorry, guys. Gonna couldn't uh, speak for a second there. This portrait guard. This portrait cards the Gryffindor common room. Requiring a password from any who wish to enter. She and her friend. She and her friend Violet are known to. Are known to wander among the other portraits, periodically helping themselves to vats of wine. Therein. Is my mic too loud? I think it's too loud. No? Okay. Easy has a special yeah, y'all, I, uh... It's tormenting, Professor. Soon, I plan on having a, uh... Why? What's when it I called? Gods, do I get face cam. So you can see this pretty face behind the mic. Very good. Now... Rebellio. I will be playing Grounded, and I will hopefully be playing it with uh, a buddy of mine. Sweet. Okay. I am going to change my gear. I don't know why. The robe is starting to bother me. Offense. Sweet. Outfits. Oh, I didn't even realize that one was legendary. That's cool. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Let's change appearance. Make it to where it's invisible. Yeah, let's make that invisible. My guy's looking pretty sharp right there. See what else we have. Gloves, nice, nice. Like how that's looking. Uh, glasses, nothing. Headwear. You know, I don't necessarily care for the. Let's change that. Alright. That guy's looking kind of spiffy. I like it. Alright. Now let's go talk to Professor Fig. Stutter. 
But yeah, for those of you wondering, I am playing this on the Series S. Don't know if you guys can tell by the performance, but uh, yeah, I am playing this on the Series S. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the post the other day, whenever I made the post on YouTube. Um, I now have a gaming PC. And I do plan on playing... That young'un's now a teacher herself. Oh. I wonder okay. she's not gobbled up by her own thing. But yeah, I do plan on playing some PC games. Coming here soon. That's cool. If you guys uh, know of any PC, any games on the PC that you guys want me to play, just let me know too. Oh man, I went completely the wrong way, didn't I? I sure did. Revelio. Professor Fig, as if my schedule w wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor, Weas Professor Weasley insists that they, n that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them act I can't even spell it. Read that. Acclimate. Not. Anyways, before new terms. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor. Pr please see Professor Weasley uh, for details. Professor Phineas Nagelis Black, Headmaster. Revelio. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Ranrock... Ranrock and uh, Rookwood... I can't speak. Grand Rock and Rookwood want the want the locket, sir. The goblins at Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Grand Rock and Rookwood want the locket. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? 
Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecket know to expect you. Okay, looks like this is where uh, the other things that we can, the other spells that we can learn. Uh, cool. Rebellion. We should come back to this another time. No, we shouldn't. Okay, that's sixty-four gold that we can use. That's locked. You know never really noticed how big Hogwarts actually was but I mean I guess it would have to be pretty huge Rebellion. Ah, I believe we have some matters to discuss oh, come on thank you Heb Hebra Hebridean black skeleton the large dragon, the large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the dark arts classroom, is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Who would have thought? She's actually quite the fighter. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Okay, let's do this. You know where this. to find me once you've finished. <laughs> Win two rounds of cross wands, complete a round of spell combination practice with Lucan Brat. Seems Cross Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. That's actually kind of funny. The uh, secret fighting rink isn't a uh, secret fighting ring isn't really secret after all, is it? Uh, let's go kick some uh, tail, shall we? Then we will learn in scenario, in sin, whatever that fire one was called, scenario or whatever. Get it. Ready for another round? Sure am. I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. 
I know the best uh, let's do it. Is the next round of cross wands all set? Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of cross wands all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? <laughs> Sebastian, my guy. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Yeah, you thought. Man. Yeah, there you go. Dude, come on. How hard is it? Dag it. Nab it. Be this difficult. Oh, crap. Sweet. Perhaps then they all sign up for a round. I don't know why that was so difficult, but it was. Bravo. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Is it ready yet, though? Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. I'll be around when you're ready. Uh, complete a round. Complete a round of spell combination practice with Luke and Bradley. Apparently, we have to Hello, do this. Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? Hell yeah! That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Keep trying. There we go. That's it. Wheat. Good one. 
so one of the things I don't like is the uh, recharge rate. That does get annoying. Dude. I don't know what was so hard about that, but it was definitely hard. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Sweet. Scenario. Dude, I can't say that name right. I can't. Rebellion. Haunted toilets. <laughs> Unless uh, useless in dire, useless in dire straits, it is proper. Probably best to avoid this particular toilet as it is as it is allegedly one of PV's favorite pranking spots. Rebellion. Showed something. What did it? What did it reveal? I heard the ting. I heard the tingling. Where's the tingling? I heard you. Where did? Where'd it go? I heard you. Is it a page? What is it? Oh well. Okay, I guess I'll find it later. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I sure did, Professor Hecat. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecat. Oh, I Glad pronounced to that hear wrong. It. Then you should be ready to learn incendio. Oh, incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand Dude. movement. <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm disgusted. Concentrate. I don't know if you hear that burping. And keep your wand steady. Okay, incendio, incendio. You have learned, you have learned enough spells that you'll need to equip incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Good work. Okay, and I guess I will do that with that. Boom. Okay. Uh, to use a spell or item, you must first add it to your spell set. Add Incendio now. Hover over Incendio. Hold. Hold RT to tap the corresponding face button of where you would like to place it. I have to really do that again or Okay. Why isn't that thing disappearing? Dude, 
wait, why isn't that disappearing? Kitters. Sweet. Okay. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with That's still being, still so not disappearing. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, Shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Okay. Uh, quest started. Guys, I'm so sorry. My stomach... It's acting crazy today. Don't know if you hear that. Secrets of the restricted section. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? It's to do with Ranrog. I'm not entirely certain. Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. <laughs> it's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Uh, see you tonight. What if we're caught? What about the librarian? What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. What about the libra- What about the librarian? 
How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. See you tonight. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Guys, my stomach is making all sorts of noises. My apologies. It's actually, it's actually quite embarrassing. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Use, disil use disillusionment to avoid being detected in off-limit areas. Nice. A little bit of uh, sneaking around, I see. Cool. Nearby adversaries will... Y will sense with a question mark on top of their head and then investigate with the yellow question mark on top of their head. Suspicious behavior being caught, the red exclamation point on top of their head by authority figures will result in quest failure. That's cool. No, 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 no. There you go. You walk away now. You walk away. Revenio. You know I gotta check for any uh, book pages. Ha! Nice. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Revenue. Is there any one, any uh, b book pages in here? Nah. Okay. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually. But it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Uh, why do we need the key? Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Revelio.
there. Just a few peeps. Wanting to know how to. Kind of wanting to know how to get in there. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Okay. Gotta sneak sneak past the old hag. Oh no. Oh no. Which way are you turning? Which way are you turning? Which way? Which flippin' crap. Key. Here it is. I don't know why these missions always uh, get me. That wasn't so difficult after all. They always just find that book. Scared me. I don't know why. Revelio. or anything that I need to worry about this in here. No. Is that uh that is come on. Oh that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Revelio. Use basic cast while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Aim. Aim mode. You left trigger grants precision spell targeting and reveals additional spell targets. Ghost, don't let her see you. Revelio. Where the ghost at? Revelio. Oh, this is a sticky situation. Should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne. Revenge. She returns to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everything. Enchanted books. Best to avoid these books if possible. Do, do not. Uh, if possible, do, do not as much to their tendency to fly from one's hands as to their content being spectacular. Spectacular, spectacular drivel of no educational value whatsoever. Okay, cool. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's Revenue. focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic.
Awesome. What? What? Come on. Revenue. Send you. Never mind. <laughs> oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Don't get into trouble. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Oh, that doesn't sound too friendly. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. And I do too. Repair her. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start equipping these things. That with that. Not too bad, not too bad. Wand handles. Imperial gray and bronze wand handles. A stately, strong handle is designed in gray wood bronze. Okay, this way. Not that one. I don't know why I just don't like seeing the robes. Sweet. 
this lid? Uh, the anthurium. It looks like some form of a. Uh... Looks like some form of challenge. Because that's exactly what it is. Okay. Not surprising. Gods at the ready. Incendio. That's cool. Akio. Okay, this is way too easy for my blood. Incendio. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully striking or taking damage. Success successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic uh, ancient magic power uh, ancient magic power up staying collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health when at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full you can cast devastating ancient magic ancient magic attacks that deal massive damage and break shield charms tap lb and rb when you see the prompt over an enemy's head these my guy there we go I was wondering how to get there. Oh, oh man, I almost died. This must be the way forward, but to where? about me. Just 
pimp slapped the crap out of me. Okay, that was cheap. That was a cheap shot, sir. Wanted to see me? The headmistress Fitzgerald. Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach. Welcome. Professor Rookwood. Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also oh, admitted okay. to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Jeez, Miss so our guy's not the only one. When we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly... It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. 
A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. My guy ain't no snitch. What will your <laughs> uncle say? <laughs> After I collect what's up here, guys, I'm going to probably call it an episode. Rebellion. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I want to go and call it an episode. But, uh, but yeah, you guys have a great day. Love you guys. Uh, stay safe out there. And like I said in the beginning, uh, beginning of this episode please like and subscribe and yeah i'll be posting more content soon peace